In this video, we are going to discuss shop floor metrology. What is it? How it works? Types of systems? What are the challenges and benefits? And how to choose the right system for your needs. So let's start by talking about what is shop floor metrology. Shop floor metrology simply means performing measurements for inspection in a shop floor environment. Traditionally, most inspection has been done in a lab area at a facility where objects can be measured in a controlled environment. But have changes in measurement technology allowed companies to do more inspection on the shop floor with accurate and repeatable results. In this video, we are going to take a closer look at the latest technology and see how it performs in a real world shop floor environment. So specifically, we're going to talk about the different types of shop floor metrology. We'll talk about the applications it is used for. We're going to go into some of the challenges with shop floor metrology, some of the real benefits of using shop floor metrology, and then finally, choosing or evaluating a system, which one is right for you, we'll cover that as well. So starting with the type of shop floor metrology systems, well, it could be as simple as traditional hand tools where measurements can be taken instantaneously. But in this video, we're gonna focus on some of the more latest digital technology, such as laser trackers, handheld scanners, optical scanning and probing systems, photogrammetry, and then finally, automated systems. So let's take a closer look at each one of these tools. Starting with a laser tracker, it is the most accurate tool for measuring medium to large objects. It works by the tracker unit sending out a laser beam that gets reflected back to the optics in the tracker. Typically, this is done with what is called an SMR, it's basically a highly precise sphere with a set of mirrors that converge at the center point of the sphere. Laser trackers can also use various attachments and even probe heads to get down into hidden or small areas such as holes. Laser trackers capture one point at a time. Next, let's take a look at handheld scanners. These systems offer unmatched portability and ease of use. They can be structured light or laser-based, allowing the user to quickly 3D scan an object and even get into very tight spaces. These systems typically use either geometry or targets to track their position in space and offer fast scanning speeds and good accuracy for small to medium-sized parts. Next, let's talk about optical scanning and probing systems. They use a set of sensors mounted on a stand to optically track the measurement device. The measurement device contains either a probe or a laser system to capture the shape of the part or take point measurements. The advantage of this system is it can scan and probe large parts quickly and accurately. They can also use a dynamic referencing system so even if the part is moving while 3D scanning, it can still accurately be measured. This is great for harsh environments like assembly plants, stamping or molding facilities, foundries, and more. Photogrammetry systems use a high resolution camera, scale bars, and specially coded targets to measure objects up to a fairly large size. They are often used in conjunction with a 3D scanning or probing system to offer greater accuracy over long distances. However, they can be used as a standalone system as well for measuring key points, holes, edges, 
overall length, and other dimensions. Automated systems. These systems typically use robots to automate the process of 3D scanning and inspection. They are often placed directly on the production line or what is called near line, which allows a certain number of parts to be pulled from the line and quickly inspected. This allows for fully automated inspection for high volume applications. The complete part can be 3D scanned and inspected or just key areas for instantaneous go or no-go results. In addition, this information can be tracked with SPC software to evaluate manufacturing trends or issues quickly. More and more companies are using automated inspection in their production assembly process. Now let's talk about the applications for shop floor metrology. Well, certainly the most obvious one is inspection, uh, but that can mean different things to different people. For example, you might want to just go out on the shop floor and take some quick measurements. Or you could be doing detailed GD&T reports. Other people want to be able to do just a quick go, no-go check on a part. And others want to be able to feed that information into an SPC system to look at trends over time. Another good use of shop floor metrology is in doing alignments. Often things that are put out on the shop floor, such as fixtures and other automation equipment, has to be aligned before it can be used. And finally, reverse engineering. And that's the process of taking a part that you have no CAD for, 3D scanning or probing it, and then generating a CAD model. So what are the benefits of shop floor metrology? Well, there are quite a few, and they include convenience. It is easier and faster to be able to inspect parts on the shop floor as opposed to sending them to an internal or external metrology lab. A user can simply take the measurements they need when they need them and where they need them. Waiting for availability in the lab could take hours, days, or weeks, depending on the company's capacity and throughput. Part size. Many companies work with medium to large parts and moving them to a lab may not be convenient or even possible. There are large CMMs available, but they are very expensive to purchase and operate, making them not feasible for most companies. Costs. Labs are typically expensive to build, operate, and maintain. It requires a controlled temperature environment vibration-free floor, human resources, dedicated floor space, and expensive and sometimes complex measuring equipment. Shop floor equipment typically doesn't have all the related expenses as dedicated lab equipment. Portability. Measuring equipment that is designed to be completely portable allows the user great freedom and options to perform their inspection routines. It could be on the shop floor, in a machine tool or stamping press, outside, or even at a customer's site. Instead of taking the part to the CMM or other lab equipment, we take the measurement tool to the part. This is a fundamental change in how metrologists are inspecting their parts in today's rapidly changing environment. Ease of use. Today's 3D scanning and a measurement equipment is more powerful yet easier to use than ever. In addition, advances in software also are making taking measurements on the shop floor very streamlined. Inspection routines can be written offline and the user simply follows the directions with an intuitive graphical interface. So besides the benefits of shop floor metrology, what are some of the challenges that people may face? Well, starting with implementation. Uh, if you don't have a shop floor system today, you've got to go out and find the right one. Uh, that can take some time. And then you've got to go through training and get your users to uh, not only uh, learn how to use the hardware, but typically there's going to be some software as well you're going to have to, to learn. Also, newer change. Sometimes it's hard in a company to implement new ways of doing things. Uh, some people can re be resistant to change and just don't want to change how they're doing it today. 
determining the right applications. Not everything is a good fit for shop floor metrology. So you really need to look at what you are doing and figure out what things are a good fit for shop floor measurements and what things maybe are left better done in the lab. Accuracy. Today's new shop floor metrology systems are more accurate than ever. However, there are certain things that may require an even higher accuracy. And that's where things like CMMs and other measurement systems still may apply. So you'll have to look at what you're trying to do and what kind of accuracy you're trying to hold and determine if that is viable for shop floor metrology. So finally, let's talk about evaluating a shop floor metrology system. And let's start with cost, because cost is always a factor, even when people uh, say it isn't. Uh, there are you know, some pretty low cost options, and there are some very expensive options. So you really need to dial in kind of what your budget, your, your range, or your maximum amount you want to spend. And you need to calculate not only the cost of the hardware, but the software, training uh, of the users, implementation. You really need to look at the total cost. Ease of use. Depending on the users of the system, this can be a big factor. Uh, if the operators on the shop floor have no experience with CAD or software or you know any kind of measurement device, then this is going to be a big consideration. How easy is the system to use? Part size. Part size is a big determination in looking at a system. Some systems are very good at small parts, others small to medium, and others large. And you may find that if you have a wide variety of part sizes, it might be difficult to select one system that can do everything. Probing versus scanning versus tracking. Depending on what you're trying to measure, probing can be fine or tracking can be fine, especially if you're doing holes, planes, and other primitives. Single point measurements are fine. But if you're doing more organic stuff, then that's where 3D scanning might be a better fit or trying to find a system that can do more than one thing. For example, probing and scanning or scanning and tracking. Environment. Are you going to be uh, in a very harsh environment with a lot of noise and vibration? Or are you in a very clean, air-conditioned, you know, quiet type environment. So you really got to look at the environment. Uh, you know, if it's also dirty, um, dusty, are you going to be outside? All those things need to be taken into account and make sure the system can handle it. And of course, accuracy. You've got to look at the accuracy, again, in a real world environment, not just in some, you know, controlled test. Take it out on the shop floor and do some measurements and see how accurate it is. Again, depending on your environment, that can have a big effect on the accuracy and also the uh, user themselves. Their education level uh, can also play into the accuracy. If they're not doing things right, it doesn't matter how good the equipment is. It's only as good as the user using it. So what shop floor system is right for you? Well, if you contact us, we can perform an in-person or virtual tour of your facility, application, and needs and help you decide what is the right system for your budget. Give us a call at 877-845-2700 or send us an email at info at ems3d.com and let's discuss how shop floor metrology can help you streamline your operations.